Hey everyone, it's Riley, and today I am one month post-op from my top surgery. So a lot has changed since my one week video with healing and just my strength, and I'm still feeling really happy with my results. Let me show you a little bit closer. So really in this past week is when my nipples have all the scabbing has come off. Um, it took a lot longer for that to happen than I expected, but yeah, I'm happy with them for the most part. I'm a little happier with like this nipple than this one, but there's going to still be a lot of healing and changes as time goes on. So I'm trying not to like, you know, freak out about anything too much, but overall I'm really happy. Um, I'm trying to think. So, I don't know, the weird thing about my nipples, like I like them a lot, but sometimes, you know, when I'm wearing a shirt, I will just like feel, you know, I just feel my chest to make sure it's flat or whatever I'm doing. But I sometimes like, I don't know where my nipples are and they're pretty like numb and they don't change like based off of the temperature. So it almost just kind of feels like something's just been sewed on randomly to my body, which they have been. Um, so it just, it feels a little not natural right now, but I know I'll get used to it. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to show some close-ups. This one is kind of like, I don't know, I feel like the areola and the nipple is more fused on that one, where this one is a little more separate, and that's why I like it more. Um because we're here on a close-up. My other main concerns right now is that there is still quite a bit of like, like this middle part is still raised quite a bit. Let me try to show you on the side. I mean, honestly, you can't really tell, but you can see that it kind of like sticks out, especially in the middle. And I might've talked about that in my video before. And if you also are really close, you can see that like, where the incision is, there's a lot of swelling. It's not as bad on this side. And again, it's hard to tell, but I think it's a little more on this side that like this part is jutting out. And like, it still, it hurts qu quite a bit if you touch it. It's like numb, but it hurts at the same time. Um, I don't know if any of this is interesting and maybe other people have like gone through it before and could tell me, I mean, I'm sure it's normal and there's a lot of healing to be done, but like, you know, when I look at myself straight on, I like it a lot, but sometimes when I'm looking down, you know, and seeing these part jutting out, I'm like, ugh, I don't like that. So yeah, um, another thing is you can see like where the drain is, it's definitely darker and it's kind of like the skin is almost like puckered and it is more painful there. You know, just because, like, that part healed without stitches. Um, but again, you know, I think that'll fade. I had been using Neosporin on uh, my nipples and my, my incision lines um, until I think the last week I started using bio oil uh, on my incision lines and doing it twice a day. And then I'm using Aquaphor on my nipples. And I like, I don't put on a shirt afterwards, you know, because quarantine life, uh, I might as well, I've been sitting around shirtless most of the time anyway, because I can, but like, you know, I don't really want to put a shirt on right when I've applied these oils, uh, same with the nighttime. So it's kind of good. I can let it just like breathe while it's on there. Um, I'm trying to think what else, like strength wise, I'm still trying to like not reach too high. Um, it doesn't really hurt anymore, but it's more that like I really want to protect my scars and I'm trying not to do like any lifting or like any arm exercises. I think today I had to lift like my laundry basket um, down the stairs so I could do laundry and like I've had to carry like groceries up the stairs. But beyond that, I haven't done anything, uh, you know, being on my own, you have to do some things, but 
uh, Dr. Wolf said that I think at like four to six weeks you can return to physical activity, but I'm pushing that out for me, at least like upper body, at least six or eight weeks because, you know, we're all locked inside anyway. Like, why do I need to be doing that kind of stuff? I prefer like for my healing to be a priority and then, you know, get back to the gym or, you know, I can't get back to the gym now anyway. <laughs> so yeah, um, everything's been good. I'm just, like I said, like hoping that this swelling goes down, but beyond that, you know, even if it doesn't, I'm still beyond happy with my results. And I feel really thankful that I had surgery before all of this happened. Um, Dr. Wolf is still doing top surgeries right now, but I don't know if I would have felt comfortable having it. And like also the fact that I had to fly, I don't want to be getting on an airplane right now or just like doing any of that. So I'm just so thankful that I, I picked the day I did because I remember I was going to maybe get a week later or two weeks later. So it just, it, it worked out well. Um, and I'm super happy and I'm excited to see how healing continues to go. Um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything else. Um, oh, I've been having these dreams where I have a female chest again and it's like driving me nuts. I had one last night and like I used to have dreams, you know, well, I still have them. It's like a reoccurring dream where I have long hair and like I can't cut it off. And now I'm having these dreams where I have like a female chest again and I can't cut it off. So I don't know what that means. Um, this is a lot of babbling. So thanks for listening. If you are listening by now and if you have questions, always let me know. And I hope you're taking care of yourself. This is a tough time for sure. Um, just know that I'm here if you ever want to reach out. All right. Bye.